Hi, I'm Dr. Mitchell Roslin, Chief of Bariatric and Metabolic Surgery at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York and Northern Westchester Hospital in Mount Kisco, uh, New York and Westchester and part of Northwell Health. Um, today, what I'd like to address is how obesity is an inflammatory disease. Many people talk to us and say, you know, I'm heavy, but I'm healthy. The truth is that when you have excess weight, the fat tissue itself is not inert. And it, ex it, you know, it exerts a tremendous inflammatory burden on your body. As a result, when we measure non-specific lab tests that measure uh, inflammation, such as a sed rate or a C-reactive peptide, they're frequently very much elevated. The best understanding or the best way to explain how important the inflammation and obesity is the impact of obesity on osteoarthritis and the number of people who are obese that require a joint replacement very early in life. A lot of people think it's just because of wear and tear that people put a lot of wear and tear who are heavy. But when we look at hunters and gatherers and people who walk all day, they don't get much osteoarthritis. So the truth is, just like heart disease, just like diabetes, osteoarthritis is a disease of civilization that's increased with obesity. And it's not just the weight that we're putting on our joints. It's the fact that when we're overweight, we have a generalized inflammatory condition and that inflammation actually destroys some of our cartilage tissue. So again, the take home message is that healthy people have a healthy lifestyle. They eat the right foods. They're active on a relatively relative basis and all of the diseases that you see as you age become less common in healthy people. And what's really great about today is that we finally have tools between medications and surgery that we can kind of halt the disease progress or reverse the disease progression. And there are a lot of alternatives. I'm Dr. Mitchell Roslin. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.